So we're going to go ahead and try graphing a linear inequality and we'll do this with a linear equation that's given to us in standard form. Now one thing we could do is we could rearrange the inequality so that it's in slope intercept form but uh, that is uh, the topic of another video. Um, in the meantime we're going to do we're going to use x and y intercepts to graph this. So in order to use x and y intercepts uh, we'll go ahead and we'll set x equal to 0 and then we'll find the y-intercept and then after that we'll set y equal to 0 and then we'll find the x-intercept. So let's start off with setting x to 0 and when we do we get uh, if x is 0 this goes away and we get y equals negative 13 fifths. So negative 13 fifths. And then if we set y equal to 0 then we get uh, x uh, and uh, 13 thirds. So uh, 13 thirds. Now uh, the procedure for graphing a linear inequality goes like this. You start off by pretending that you have an equation because what we want to do is we want to make uh, the um, we want to make the graph uh, in such a way here's our x-axis and here's our y that uh, that we well we have these two dots and and we'll use those two dots to draw a line and uh, and that line will be what you would get if you had a linear equation then we'll use the inequality part to figure out um, whether we want the line to be solid or dashed and where to shade so with this line it when x is equal to uh, 0 y is about what is that it's a little bit more than 2 a little bit less than 3 so uh, and that's negative so we'll go negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 and so we'll say okay well our uh, we've got a dot that we'll put there and that's 0 comma negative 13 fifths and then we've got another dot we'll put when y is 0 and that'll be at x is um, 13 thirds which is about a little more than 4 and that's positive so 1 2 3 4 and we'll put it's a little bit more so we'll go ahead and put our dot right out there and then we'll just connect the two dots now because there is a crayon uh, here uh, I'll, uh, maybe let's make that more clear because there's a crayon right there um, that means that our line is going to be solid so let's go ahead and draw a nice solid line between these two points here we go something like this and then go ahead and put arrows on each end and when we do that um, we can then see okay we're either going to need to shade above or below the line remains solid because we have a crayon in other words that if we put in values of x and y that were right on this line any of these would be solutions they would definitely any points on this line would be solutions to this inequality in other words they would make this statement true if we plugged in the x value and the y value from any of these points now what we want to find out is do we have more solutions above the line or do we have solutions below the line we can only have them either above or below so in step two of our procedure uh, actually two was solid or dashed and we took care of that in step three of our procedure, by the way, we decided we were going to go with solid. Step three, we'll figure out where to shade. And when we go to do that, we will need to test a particular point. And in this case, we'll test uh, the point 0, 0, because the math is easy with 0, 0. And there's no particular reason to use 0, 0. It's just that we need an x value and we need a y value. And it turns out that that's clearly above our line. So if we test this and it turns out that 0 and 0 make this true, then we'll know that we have solutions above the line. If we test 0, 0 and makes this false, then we know our solutions are all down here. Because if there's not a solution here, then none of these will be solutions. So let's go ahead and plug in the 0 and the 0. Essentially what we end up with is 0 is greater than or equal to 13. And sadly, that is just not true. Since that's not true, what we have to say is is it's not a solution, 0 comma 0. So bye-bye, sorry 0 comma 0, you're not a solution. Um, and uh, therefore all of our solutions must actually be 
down here below this line. And I'll use line, I'll use arrows to indicate, you know, where the solutions are. Um, if you want, you can just do a big shading blob over here. But it's just important that you remember what does the shade mean. Wherever we shade, that means there are solutions. So if we pick points like here or here or here, um, and we put in the x comma y value uh, of this point right here, if we put that in here and here then we should see that, that this is a true statement. Now on the other hand if we pick a point up here or here or here and we put the x comma y values into this inequality this should be a false statement. All, the only solutions are down here and on this line. 